It's a beautiful spring day on Catacrom 4, Juanita, as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <sighs> oh, yeah. The Vox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle core. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh, my. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. Ratchet's first objective is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. You might want to cover your eyes. Just a reminder, tomorrow is Kick Your Best Friend in the Pants Day. Free popcorn for everyone who participates. As Team Dark Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. I've upgraded your bots to turn ball crank. Get close to it. Here's a chilling thought. Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot burial ground. Sometimes I think I should have taken that job on Annihilation Nation. They've got a great dental plan. Team Dark Star is in rare form tonight. Ratchet, according to Dread Zone show requirements, enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. <laughs> the node crank.
expand your map at any time to get a better view of the area. Security, you're parked in my space! Ratchet, I am detecting a swing shot orb ahead. Jump towards it and hold down the fire button. Your swing shot will deploy automatically and carry you across the gap. What do you know, folks? Ratchet has found the Landstalker! All-terrain mech of destruction comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo-sized drink holders, and enough plasma mortars to take out a small star system. Team Dark Star's not out for a Sunday drive today, folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center of the Catacrom Burial Dome. Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. this carnage, folks. But it's time for the final showdown in the Catacrom Burial Dome. There's no telling what lurks inside these walls. Ratchet, you must defeat all your opponents in order to complete this challenge. In other words, stay alive. They're coming up from the ground! It's Juanita.
Dark Star simply won't give up. Zombies, dead ahead! Oh, <laughs> no pun intended, sir. <laughs> Well done, Ratchet. You have completed your first Dread Zone campaign and won a medal. You have also unlocked a new set of objectives called Dread Challenges. Earning medals and defeating Dread Challenges are the key to survival in Dread Zone. Ratchet will race to beat the clock. Each checkpoint he passes will earn him a few extra seconds. Team Darkstar, get ready to race! uses the bathroom in that suit. Status on Dread Zone now. It's time to hop into the Landstalker. Take out as many enemies as you can. a Dread Zone favorite. Our contestant will have to destroy three ancient statues all in a matter of minutes. You gotta love it.
You give him any lip and he'll feed you a lead sandwich. You better believe that, Juanita. Challenges can be completed in any order once they are unlocked.